Hi everyone. Let us discuss this concept curl of a vector field. Okay. So suppose we have a vector field f from R3 to R3 or if you have any open set in R3 and function f is defined on u. That means it is defined from subset of R3 to R3. It is defined in this way pi plus qj plus rk where p, q, r be any functions of x, y, z. Getting? There is one condition that means all partial derivatives of p, q, r with respect to x, y, z exist. Then we can find curl of f bar in this way. So curl of f bar is defined as del cross f bar. You remember divergence of f bar we have already seen in our previous video. That divergence of f bar is del dot f bar and curl of f bar is del cross f bar. So we know that how to find cross product. With the help of determinant we find a cross product. But before that what will I do? I will write the value of del and f bar. Okay. So this is equal to del means what i dev by dev x plus z dev by dev y plus k dev by dev z right cross product f bar what is our f bar let me write here that is pi plus qj plus rk so you know that with the help of determinant we find the value of cross product so i will do the same here determinant first row is i j k Will you guess what will be the second row? Obviously, the second row will be multiples of i, j, k in the first bracket. That means we have dev by dev x, dev by dev y and dev by dev z, right? Will you guess the last row? In last row, we will consider all multiples of i, j, k in the last bracket, second bracket. Okay, so it will be p, q and here last one is r. So if you solve the determinant, we will have the vector which will be the curl of f bar, right? So in this way, we find curl of f bar. Let us discuss one simple example so you can easily understand the concept of curl of f bar. Make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So let us discuss this simple example, right? We have this vector field f bar we have to find is curl, okay? So curl of f bar. So you know that curl of f bar means del cross f bar. We find the value of cross product by solving a determinant. I will do the same. This is equal to determinant. The first row is obviously i, j, k. The second row will be multiple of i, j, k in del, which are dev by dev x, dev by dev y, and dev by dev z, right? The last row will be multiple of i, j, k in this f bar, which are 2x plus y, right? Here multiple of j is x plus z and multiple of k is x square. So now what will I do? I will simply solve that determinant. So this is equal to i. So you remember what we do here if you have i. So see, we should take product of these two. Okay. So that means I should operate this dev by dev y on x square. So let me write dev by dev y x square minus I should operate, operate this dev by dev z on this one. So dev by dev z x plus z minus z. So you know that when we solve determinant, whatever the middle term we have, we always write minus sign there. So that's why I wrote minus. Okay. Okay. So let me remove this one. What I should write? So to solve determinant, when we take this term, don't consider corresponding row. Don't consider corresponding column. So only these four entries will be there. So I should take product of these two and I should subtract. Okay. So let us see what will happen. I should operate this deba by deba x on this x square minus. I should operate this deba by deba z on this one. So deba by deba z 2x plus y. Okay. Let me remove this. Will you guess the next term? Now I should consider this k. Okay. So don't consider corresponding row, corresponding column. So you will have these four entries. That means I should take product of this two minus product of this two. Okay. So let us do. So that means dev by dev x. I'm operating this dev by dev x on x plus z minus. I'm operating this dev by dev y on this 2x plus y. Dev by dev y 2x plus y. So let us simplify it further. I derivative of x square. So maybe you are thinking derivative of x square is 2x, but see, wait, 
we are differentiating with respect to y so that's why x square is constant and derivative will be 0 so it will be 0 minus addition is there we can take separate derivatives derivative of x with respect to z is 0 since x is constant and derivative of z with respect to z is 1 so let me simply write 1 here minus z derivative of x square with respect to x obviously it is 2x minus see this bracket there is 2x plus y and we are differentiating with respect to z see there is no any z so 2x plus y is constant and derivative of constant is 0 plus k addition there we can take separate derivatives derivative of x is 1 since we are differentiating with respect to x derivative of z is 0 with respect to x okay minus let me write so derivative of 2x is 0 we are differentiating with respect to y and derivative of y is 1 since we are differentiating with respect to y so this is equal to minus i this is minus 2xj and 1 minus 1 0 k so this is a required curl of a bar okay so if you have any vector field in this way we can find curl of given vector field okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you Bye-bye.